let's first talk about Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. So as you know, the season has really essentially been focused on Jen Shaw and her arrest and the ladies' reaction to that. Well, now we have a mid-season trailer where we get a lot of stuff beyond just Jen Shaw and her drama with the ladies and her legal drama. As you know, if you didn't know, they've set a date. It's actually my friend's birthday. They set a date for Jen Shaw's trial. But before doing that, Jen Shaw's attorneys tried to have the case dismissed. They tried to have the case dismissed because of the people that were involved and interviewed in the Hulu documentary. However, shout out to Ronald Richards. He made it very clear the people that were involved aren't directly involved. So there is no legal precedence for her to, you know, to kick to 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 dismiss the case if these people aren't the ones directly involved in regards to the prosecution. She tried, though. Look, they have to try something. The judge wasn't trying to hear it, and they've set the date. The date is March 22nd of 2022. That seems like a lucky day for us, not for Jen Shaw. The trial will begin here in New York, and you know there's going to be a lot of stuff coming out from that, so you know we will be following up on that. But let's talk about what we saw in this midseason trailer, and that is Jen Shaw losing it multiple times. At the top, her and Lisa are going at it. And I don't know if you've been following the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City tea. There was a rumor out there that there was a physical altercation with Lisa Barlow. Lisa was on social media saying that's not true. And then we saw the we saw footage in this midseason trailer. So I have a picture of that. Hold on, y'all. I think I have a, a yes, I do have like a little snapshot. Is this it? Hold on, y'all. As you can see. That is Jen Shaw going at Lisa Barlow in the sprinter. And I'm assuming the woman that's grabbing her is a producer. <laughs> I wonder if, if Andy will give us a disclaimer at the beginning of this reunion. Hmm. We also hear that in the Real Housewives of New Jersey, there are multiple physical altercations as well. I wonder if we'll get a disclaimer with that. Of course, we're going to get one now because we're calling him out on it. Jen Shaw looks like she's lunging. Well, it doesn't look like. She is lunging at Lisa Barlow. Lisa Barlow doesn't look like a fighter, even though she is from New York. Doesn't mean that you're a fighter. But that might, that might not be the one you want to attack, Jen Shaw. And this is not a good look for Jen Shaw. Attacking someone physically? And you have a pending criminal case against you? Guys, if you missed our recap of The Housewife and The Shaw Shocker, be sure to check that out on the Kempire Daily YouTube channel. We, we broke down all the, our favorite moments from that. We even had people call in and share their thoughts. So more from this, I took notes. Y'all know I'm always taking notes. I'm just giving you a brief overview of what we saw in this mid-season trail. If you haven't seen it, it is available on Bravo's YouTube, and I'm sure it's also available on their Instagram. So there is this physical fight between Jen Shaw and Lisa Barlow. It doesn't look like Lisa Barlow is going to fight her back because they're trying to pull Jen Shaw off of her. Again, not a good look because she looks like the, egress the aggressor in, in this fight. Okay? Lisa is invoking her Kyle because you know Kyle loves to do splits at parties. <laughs> Lisa is doing splits at parties. Even though, look, a lot of people will say things in life, even here on YouTube, when you do something, they automatically, oh, you're trying to be like someone else. Look, spl splits aren't something new um, in, in regards to people doing them. So I'm going to give Lisa grace here. Okay, Lisa, that's the only grace I'm going to give you, though. Mary Cosby and um, Mary Cosby and Jen Shaw have a conversation and you know Mary Cosby she's kooky she's crazy whatever you want to call her at one point in this conversation she's she says I pray to God you're guilty I mean innocent see and I honestly believe that Mary Cosby <laughs> really she just makes a mistake or she really is saying what's on her mind but it was a funny moment and and I'm here for those funny moments with her OK, um, Whitney and I don't believe I think this was all editing. Whitney says that she's spent her entire life savings 
on the rebranding of her Whitney Rose brand. When she says her savings, when she says their savings, I'm going to assume that she's really meaning her own savings and not her and her husband's. I, I just have a feeling like, uh, are we starting with the, oh, I'm broke? I don't think so. I think it's really her life savings and not the entire Rose situation, okay? But that was, Whitney has to have a storyline. Whitney, you don't necessarily need a storyline. You carried the first season with your father's storyline. Well, I don't want to carry the season, but it was an it was an important part of the season. And I like I like Whitney. I think Whitney is funny. I think she's witty. I like her. She's in the mix of everything. Whitney, you stay. But Lisa Barlow and Meredith Marks, we know we saw the signs. We saw the signs that things weren't hunky dory with between these two. This is Lisa losing it on Meredith saying you're a liar I will not calm down okay all right we saw this coming is this orchestrated just for television I hope so because I really don't I don't like to see friendships fall apart I really don't like to see friendships fall apart but this friendship look like looks like it is falling apart you remember at one point when the whole Jen Shaw arrest happened, uh, Lisa was on the phone with one of her attorneys. I think, I think Meredith knows something. Meredith later says, that's not what a friend does. Implicate your friend in a major legal situation. As if she's not miked. You can whisper all you want. Everything's being picked up. Then we get this moment with Jen Shaw and Coach Shaw. Oh, Lord. Honestly, we're used to looking at Jen Shaw's face like this, where she's just losing it. Obviously, she's going through a lot right now in regards to her legal battle. However, I'm not surprised at this reaction. You know what the reaction that really got me? The reaction. Coordinator Shaw makes an appearance midseason. He looks like he just doesn't care. He's like, you're going to jail. I don't care. I'm going to be rid of you. I can be with my real family and uh, my new blended family. Because if Jen Shaw is convicted, she's going to jail for a long time, y'all. Long time. But this is looking at this. And he's like, ugh. But we're still looking at you, Coach Shaw. Not to say that Coach Shaw knew anything specifically, but his his life still benefited from this money that she allegedly stole from elderly victims. Okay? Which goes back to Jen Shaw trying to get this case dismissed because of the Hulu documentary. I said this before when we were talking about it. I said that's, I think, part of the reason why we didn't get any direct victims that are involved in the case that's being brought against her was so that they, you know, Jen Psy couldn't say, oh, this has caused the the investigation to be, you know, inappropriate. The, he, all the legal terms. Y'all don't come here for y'all don't come here for the legal terms. But pretty much it would it would tarnish the case against Jen Shaw. OK, that's part of the reason why I believe that actual victims that are part of the case that's being brought against her were not involved in the documentary, even though she tried to. She, she made a reach. She tried to make a reach and get that case dismissed. The judge was like, no, and this is going to be your court date. March 22nd of 2022. That's right around the corner. Happy early birthday to my friend. <laughs> That's her birthday. <laughs> oh, Anyways, of course, Jenny has to have a moment. It looks like Jenny really is trying to be the new Jen Shaw, throwing glass at Meredith. Again, Andy, I expect a, a disclaimer at the beginning of this reunion that you don't accept physical violence. Jenny, look, if you're trying to do this so that you can become the new Jen of the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, I'm still not interested. I was interested in the beginning, especially because of your family. But after your butterface husband and the whole sister wife storyline and then your niece coming out talking about how you guys aren't who you say you are, I, I'm looking at you so differently now. It looks like you're trying to have a moment and I'm not interested. And... Mary Cosby might not be the one to mess with. You heard what Whitney said. Don't be surprised if something. Never mind. I, look, you've been warned, Jenny. I'm just saying. Speaking of Mary, Lisa 
is going at Mary. Well, first of all, at one point during this trailer, Mary says to Lisa, everyone thinks you're two-faced. We all think that she's two-faced. We all think that Lisa Barlow is two-faced. But they go at it in regards to her congregation. Lisa says to her, your congregation is leaving you. This is not going to be over. I believe that this whole congregation cult accusations, don't be surprised if you see uh, a the housewife and the cult. If they take that, that, that title, y'all owe me, or at least have me be a part of the, the conversation. <laughs> the housewife and the cult. <sighs> Allegedly. I'm not messing with Mary. I'm not. You heard what um, Whitney said, the cousin said about Mary. You don't want to, you don't want to mess with Mary. You don't want to, you don't want to, you don't want to see Mary mad. Right. So that drama continues. What I love about Salt Lake City, besides the, the different religions and women and the storylines that are going on, it's a new city. People are still gravitating to it. The ratings are decent. Definitely better than Watch What Happens Live. Vanderpump Rules, those ratings are sucking. M Million Dollar Listing LA, those ratings are sucking too. Sorry. Below Deck is doing so very well. Even though I don't really love the season so far, the ratings are doing well. Meredith, at the end of the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, says that I I'll talk about who everybody dated and that no one knows about. Meredith... I know you follow me on Twitter and I don't care because I love how Paris started following me on Twitter and Meredith after I reported on some stories about them. Do you guys think that means I'm going to stop talking about you? We're live on Twitter too. Hey, Meredith. Meredith, although in this mid-season trailer, it does look interesting. It does look like Meredith is bringing some, something. And I hear that Seth is speaking out about how Jen, Jen was following... Um, Jen, Jen was, uh, what's the word? I can't even think of words. It's Saturday, y'all. <laughs> How Jen was harassing their, their 20 something year old son, Brooks. And I looked at the comments and everyone was like, he's not a kid. He's a grown adult. <laughs> I think everyone's just over Meredith trying to reach with this storyline and then Seth leaning into it. And I still don't believe the, in the relationship between Meredith and Seth. To be honest with you, I don't. Seth is, Seth is a little weird. There's like a few weird people on this show, but I'm here for the weird. It makes for great for reality TV. Just saying. Anyways. <laughs> Jenna says, uh, Mary be sending people directly to Jesus. 